In this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully calibrate your auto guider in the SkyX camera add-on. I'm using the Orion Starshoot auto guider here and one of those short wide field guide scopes that are very popular these days. I've taken a four second uh, image with no subframe just to evaluate the field and look and see if I have enough stars at this exposure time and I can see I, I do have some stars here to pick from. And we're looking for two things here. We want a star that's sort of by itself and we need a star that's not saturated uh, for best results. So I've, I think I found one. I'm going to draw a subframe around it and take another exposure the same length and uh, evaluate that and take a look. There it is and yep one little star by himself um, not saturated so that's that's very good. Note here I'm using direct guide uh, on a paramount for this video. I could also use the guider relays if I had a cable connected from the camera to the mount. Now the calibration distance is different. If you're using direct guide, the calibration distance is in arc seconds. And if you're using relay cables, it's not really distance, it's time, and it's actually in seconds. Now how many seconds or how many arc seconds you use uh, really varies depending on the scale of your auto guider and your um, auto guider um, your auto guider scope. So you can see here, we just want to move the star a little bit, and this may require a little trial and error on your part. Uh, you don't want the star to move too much within the frame, uh, but you need it to move enough to where it registers as some motion. You can see here the, uh, the Y component looks a little bit longer than the X component, even though it's the same distance in arc seconds, and that is entirely a function of uh, your declination. And we have a successful calibration, and so we're, uh, we're ready to go. Very nice. A nice thing about auto guiding with the camera add-on too is uh, it takes into account your declination so you only need to calibrate one time uh, and pretty much anywhere in the sky. I don't recommend calibrating at Polaris for example uh, but we'll take into account the, um, the declination and so you can you can go anywhere in the sky and successfully auto guide. It's also persistent from session to session so if you don't move your guide scope or camera around uh, you can come out the next night and you'll still be calibrated and ready to go. And this is a very nice time saver, uh, especially if you're mobile or at a star party. Um, you're ready to go at the beginning of every night.